what's up, YouTube? This is part two to Are We Living on the Water? Well, we are living on the water. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to read an article I came across. Okay? Um, let's type in Egyptian once again. Egyptian creation myth. It says it's a myth, right? And it says it that um, once again that in all of these myths, the world was said to have emerged from an infinite, lifeless sea, right? So we're in water. Okay. So let's read this. This is from the DailyMail.com, Science and Technology. They say. Are we living on the water? Research to believe the universe might be a liquid superfluid. New research suggests space time might be a type of ultra cool fluid. Known as a superfluid, this phase of matter possesses usual, unusual qualities. It will provide a medium for waves and photons to, tra and photons to travel like sound and air. But for it to exist, the researchers say that it would need a viscosity of zero. This could provide us with a, with a new theory of quantum gravity. Okay? Now, check this out. So it says that, what is space? Is it empty or is it full of stuff that provides a medium through which photons, electromagnetic waves, and everything else can move? We know the water and the ocean, the currents, carry they make, they make waves. Okay? It says that that's a question scientists have yet to finally answer. But a new theory suggests space-time itself might be a liquefied, a liquid superfluid. And if proven true, it could force us to take another look at the standard model of physics. Okay? It says here that, um, it says the idea of space-time being a fluid known as superfluid vacuum theory isn't entirely new. It was suggested as long as a half a century ago. A century is a hundred years, right? It says, but researchers Stefano Liberati and professor of, at the International School for Advanced Studies and, and, uh, and Luca Massioni, a researcher and research scientist at the Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich are, first, are the first to tackle the question of the Viscosity, viscosity of such a liquid. It says that is they worked out how thick the liquid would be, and they found it to be almost zero. So it says that what is space time? In Einstein's 1905 theory of special relativity, he was the first to propose that space and time might be linked. All right, and things of that nature. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay. It says here that in their paper, in their paper, Astro, one second. One second. We are living on the water. In their paper, actual physical constraints, constraints on Planck's 
scale dissipative phenomenon, they tackled the question of space-time being a fluid. They did this by creating models attempting to fuse gravity and quantum mechanics into quantum gravity. One of the biggest problems in understanding the universe has been trying to figure out how things move through space. Consider how waves move through water. For example, the wave propagates through the water, using it as a medium through which to move. As far as we know, a, a transfer of energy of this sort requires a medium, like how, like how sound passes through air or heat through metal. Uh, give me one second. It says, how then do electromagnetic waves, photons, and so on move through space where there, uh, where there is believed to be nothing? The supposed existence of a medium in space is more commonly known as ether. If you go to ether again, but proving or disproving its existence has been, has been struggling. In Liberati and Mazzaconi's research, they suggest that this ether is in fact a superfluid. Okay? Now remember, this ether is this black this black shit, right? And this this black stuff is the same stuff that we have in our brains called substantial and negative fluid. Okay? Look it up. Now, it says here that it is believed that some neutron stars left behind by supernovas, like the one at this center of Crab Nebula picture, have, may have superfluid cores. Consider in the same way how we perceive water. To us, it appears to be a flowing, a flowing liquid, but in actuality, actuality is a, it is a mass of H2O molecules. It says space-time. The researchers say is made of is made of its own H2O molecules, although what these would be is unknown. A key of point evidence for the theory for the theory revolves around the four fundamental forces of the universe: electromagnet, uh, electromagnetism, weak interaction, strong interaction, and gravity. Um, quantum mechanics is able to explain all of these except, except gravity. So it says, what is a superfluid? A superfluid is a fluid that can flow endlessly without losing energy. It is a phase of matter that is achieved by liquids or gases when they are cooled sufficiently. At certain temperatures near absolute zero, the atoms begin to occupy the same quantum state. This means that the atoms lose their individual identities and instead behave like a single super a single a single super atom. Helium, for example, exhibits superfluid properties at two Kelvin. Superfluids have several unique properties. They can, for example, climb the walls of unsealed containers. They also transfer heat exceedingly well. A superfluid will evaporate before it has a chance to boil. Now, let's keep on going. It says the researchers say that a plausible model for quantum gravity would be the superfluid superfluidity of the cosmos. But to model it as a fluid requires us to understand its viscosity, how thick it is, which they estimate to be close to zero. It says, quote, if space-time is a kind of fluid, then we must take also take into account its viscosity and other dissipative effects, which have never been considered in detail, <coughs> explained Liberati. The reason for viscosity of almost is that this will allow photons and other particles to travel with ease. It says, quote, we can see photons traveling. We can see photons traveling from af astrophysical objects located millions of light years away, continued Liberace. Quote, if space time is a fluid, then according to our calculations, it must be necessarily it must necessarily be a superfluid. This means that the viscosity value is extremely low, close to zero. We quote, we also predicted other weak dissipative effects which we might be able to see with future astrophysical physical observations. It says, quote, should this happen, we would have a strong clue to support the emergence models of, of space-time. With modern astrophysics technology, the time has come to bring quantum gravity from a merely speculative viewpoint to a more uh, phenological one. One
cannot imagine a more exciting time to be working on gravity. See that? So that's the end of that. That's the end of that article. So I'm going to post this in my description box. This is what this is what they said. That the universe might be a. They saying that the universe is a superfluid. Hey, Mumbo are already proven that the universe is a hologram. So why would it not be possible for the for the for the universe to be a, a, a full of water? Okay. I'm going to post my description box. And with that being said, peace.